Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to use layers as an alert to show a message for a couple of seconds and have that message go away. My name is Jeff Bat with Learning Dojo and let's go ahead and dive in here. I have a simple interaction that if you click on the person, it does pop open with some more information. You can go ahead and close that out and you can see that it kind of adds a visited state. It shows that you have visited that person. Let's go ahead and click on this person and see what happens. So you can see that I can close that as well. Now, what I want to have happen is when you click on the next button is I want there to be a message that says you have not visited every person. One thing that I really emphasize with all of my new students learning storyline is if something, if you click on something and you want the person to actually visit all the different areas that you have before moving on and you have a condition on the next button and they click on the next button but nothing happens even though the logic is fine and you're, you're wanting them to go ahead and visit all the items if they're clicking on the next button and they think that they visited everything and there's no message that's in my mind as the user is perceiving that there's an error or something is broken with the course you need to think through all of those situations when you're creating this type of interaction where you want the learner to click on all the different options before they move on. So a good way to do that is have a simple message pop up and say, hey, you need to visit all items and then to have that go away. So I'm gonna show you how to do that here. So let's go ahead and just explore what's happening. You can see here I have in my states, I have a visited state for each one of these. Now by using states, it allows me to kind of pick up on that and use that as a condition inside of Storyline so I can check to see if they have visited all states on all objects. And if they haven't, then that's when I'll show the layer and I'll say, hey, you need to go ahead and complete all of these different interactions. So I have that going on and then I have this trigger to show the layer for employee one and employee two. Those are my layers. I have employee one here and I have a simple animation having this come in and then having the close animation fade in as well. And then I have a simple animation here as well. Now you may be asking yourself because when we previewed this, this seemed like it came from behind this person and not from over here. The way that I did that is I actually created a shape that actually was the same color as you see with the fade here and that masked the object moving over here. So that's where it looked like it was actually coming out of the object. Just a simple little hack to make it look like it's coming out from behind this person here and not from off the stage. All right, so we have that. What we need to do is add a layer that is going to just basically alert the learner. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in alert. We'll name that our layer. And we could do a simple, just to keep it as simple as possible, let's go ahead and just add a caption here and this caption is gonna be like, hey, and it's gonna point down to the next button right here so I can move it over a little bit more and maybe have it not as far away there, kind of in that same direction of, hey, you need to complete this. You must complete, or let's say visits all characters before moving on. Now I'm gonna change this to be a little bit different I don't like the out of the box blue there, so I'm gonna get rid of the outline, and then I'm gonna change this to be more of kind of a white background, but I'm gonna have this have a drop shadow. So it's gonna stand out a little bit more from there. Let's have it kind of be the bottom. I don't like how that is completely kind of hidden there. I don't like the drop shadow that strong, so let's go ahead and make this 80% here. And I think that should be good enough. But now that I change this to white, I'm going to need to change my text as well. So I'm gonna make sure that there's no shadow on the text. And then I'm gonna just change this to a black text. And I think that's good enough. So what we need to do is we need to add a condition that will show this layer if they have not visited all the different tabs. One of the important things when you're thinking through a condition is thinking through when is this going to check? Am I going to check to see if all the states have been visited when the user clicks on the objects or am I gonna to need to do it when the user clicks on next? So thinking through it and sometimes even writing it out in your mind is what's called pseudocode. It's thinking through the logic, thinking through what needs to happen and it helps you kind of identify, oh, this is a condition. Oh, this is where I need to have the event and so forth. So what we need to do is have the events on the next button. I'm gonna just double click on this trigger because we already have a trigger to go to the next slide. 
but I'm only going to do that if the states have been visited. So I can go into objects and I can say if character one is equal to visited. And then I can add another one. So let's go into object character two. I'm using this keyword too inside of conditions. And if you wanna check out more about conditions, I'm gonna to link to the conditions video at the end of this video so you can check that out as well. But you can see right here, if the character one is visited and character two is visited, then go ahead and go on to the next page. Well, what happens if it's not that way? Well, that's where we need to then show the layer. And that's really where this else statement comes into play. If these conditions are not true, then do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and add an else and then instead of jump to slide, what we're gonna do is show a layer. And that's gonna show the alert layer. Now this is going to work, however, we have a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and preview this and show you exactly what happens when I try to go to next without visiting all the different characters. So here's character one. Let's go ahead and visit character one. I'm gonna hit close and then I'm gonna click on next. That is working because I have not visited all characters here but we have a problem because this never goes away. What I wanna do is make sure this goes away. I want it to have it show up for a couple of seconds, but then I want to have it go away. To do that, what I need to do is come into here, into my alert layer and click on add a trigger, and then I'm going to hide the layer. Well, when am I going to hide the layer? I emphasize the when section a lot because this is actually when the trigger needs to fire. And we want this to happen at the end of the timeline. So I can go ahead and select this drop down box and then click on timeline ends. And if I do this when the timeline ends, it's gonna go ahead and just at the end of the timeline, hide that alert. So I'm gonna click okay. And then this is where I want to leave it up for enough time for them to read it, but not too much time where they get confused and so forth. I'm just gonna do three seconds just so we can go ahead and see how this is going to work. If I click on preview this slide, let's go ahead and see this. All right, so let's do the same thing. Let's click on this person. There's our layer one. Let's hit close and then try to click on next. This message will pop up, but it's only gonna show up for three seconds and then it's gonna go away. The nice thing about that, the fact that we made it go away means that we can have it happen again. If I have several characters here, if this condition is still there, and I make it so the condition is they have to visit all six characters or something like that. If they go ahead and visit two more and try to click on next, that alert is still gonna pop up for a couple of seconds and go away. I can have this show up and go away as much as I need to. If you have animations on that layer, you can have animations run as much as you need to here. So this is one of the most powerful things about being able to use layers as an alert as something that pops up for a couple of seconds and then goes away because then I can trigger it to happen again. Hopefully that's helpful for you and you're able to use that and apply that concept in whatever interaction that you're actually using, in whatever condition that you're actually using. If you need to, a message to show up for just a couple of seconds or some piece of logic to show up for a couple of seconds, put that on a layer, have that layer run for a couple of seconds and then at the end of the timeline, have that layer go away. If you wanna check out more tips and tricks, head on over to my website at learningdojo.ninja. You can check out all my previous blog posts covering anything learning development related. You can also download free templates in Articulate Storyline 360 and XAPI templates. And check out full courses covering everything from A to Z in Articulate Storyline 360, Adobe Captivate, XAPI Fundamentals, Camtasia, Articulate Rise, Custom Scorm, and HTML5 video. If you like this video, head on over to my YouTube channel, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, as well as hit the bell notification so you get notified of all future videos as they come out. That really helps my channel, allows me to continue to create these videos for you to really help you become the best learning developer that you can be, to take advantage of tips and tricks to really push your content to the next level. That's my goal with this channel. Well, that's all I have for today, so thanks everyone, and I'll see you next time.